Two thieves in Fort Wayne had a change of heart this morning. After stealing an expensive lawn ornament from a woman's yard, they have returned it to her and apologized. We first told you about this story last night on Nightcast. News Channel 15's Megan Royst continues our coverage. Well, some people may think a story on a missing gnome is ridiculous, but it's not. It's the principle this woman wanted to teach two young men. You don't take people's belongings, no matter how expensive or inexpensive they are. On top of that, it made Ellen Gagline and her husband live in fear. Are they going to come in the door next? Because they're only a few feet away. Questions like that crossed Ellen Gagline's mind as she talked with me on camera last night. A scary reality she and her husband feared. Ellen says because of the story we aired, the two young men caught on camera returned one of the stolen gnomes this morning. Oh, it means a lot. It means that somebody has a conscience and they brought it back. As for the second custom-made 70-pound gnome from Atlanta that's still missing, she hasn't the slightest clue who took that one. Oh, I'd cut my losses, but if he showed up, I'd be happy. Ellen says the two also fessed up to trying to take the gig line's third gnome over the weekend, something they say they won't do again. That's all I really want is I, you know, if they would have just said, can I have it, I probably would have given it to them. I mean, a lot of people would not have done it. And these were very good young men that brought it back. As you could see, it meant a lot to Ellen that the two brought the gnome back and genuinely apologized. She hopes other pranksters out there will learn a lesson from this story and think twice before messing with people's property. Megan Royce, News Channel 15.